Well, we always love it when our friends from Village Books stop by. Chuck and Dee Robinson from Village Books in Fairhaven. And the holidays are in full swing, and we're in a frenzy trying to find that perfect gift for that person and enter Village Books with their help. Yeah, yeah. we have a, a variety here. These are all books that are uh, from our holiday gift book uh, catalog, so, so a variety of selections that are good for a variety of people on your list. Okay, now should we start right here? This, uh, sure. The Atlas? Yeah, this is um, an atlas uh, for railroad fans. Uh, Derek Hayes has done atlases, other historical atlases of the United States and of the American West, and this one is on the North American railroads. And it is full of old railroad maps, brochures, um, information about uh, the different rail lines and uh, you know every year we have people coming in looking for gifts for the railroad fans on their list because oh. there are a lot of people who really are interested in this and he does a lot of wonderful research they're uh, really historically accurate and interesting um, ephemera, I guess you would say, from uh, railroads. So this will be a great gift book. Very nice. Yep. And then Chuck, what are your ideas? Well, this is this is a new favorite book of mine. It's called Book Lust to Go, and I, we talked about this book before on the show. But just really quickly, Nancy Pearl does inter, does reviews of books for NPR, and she's done a couple of other books before this called Book Lust and and more Book Lust that were a. a just about books on a variety of subjects. With this one, she's done books about travel and particular places in the world, both for the person who is going to travel as well as the armchair traveler. And so uh, there's odd places in here. There are fun places. She's got some, some books that are old books and books that are new books. It's just a great book if you're going someplace or thinking about going someplace. Lots of recommendations, not guidebooks, not about where to sleep and eat, but books that would give you a little background about the place. Great. Simple Times. Simple Times. This is Amy Sedaris, and I don't know if you if you know David Sedaris. Oh, yes. This is David's sister, and the humor gene ran in the family, I guess. <laughs> um, she did a, a sort of a cooking and entertaining book um, a couple years ago, and this is uh, her new book this year. It does have recipes, but this is really a craft book, <laughs> and it is just crazy. It is crazy, crazy humor. Uh, not real crafts. Um, <laughs> although she'll give, uh, she'll show a particular picture of something, and in the instructions it says, "Well, you know how to do this, yeah. or you yeah. can figure this out." Right. Um, lots of pictures, and so if you if you have a craft person on your list who just needs a good laugh, um, Amy Sedaris, Woodfield Bill. Very cute. All right, check. What's next? Well, this is an interesting gift. This is not a book exactly. This is called High Cubes, as in haiku, but there are little cubes in here, and they're like dice, and they have words on each side. So what you do is you roll the cubes and arrange them into a haiku poem. Oh. And so it's, it's a fun thing for people who are poets or just want to play around with words. It's a little bit like magnetic poetry and rearranging it, but um, for specifically for haiku. And I think this would be a great gift for the poetry level, uh, lover. That's a great idea. And well, Indeed. last year, uh, The Elements was a surprise hit gift book, and the publisher didn't print enough, so there were a lot of people looking for this book who couldn't get it last year, and it is out again this year. It is unbelievable. Uh, every element has its own page. There is a picture of um, something to do with the element, information about it, and then uh, ways that particular element is used in the world. And this year they have come out with a companion little box of cards. Every element has its own card. Wow. And there is a, a picture, and then the back of the card has um, the technical information, when it was discovered, um, all kinds of information that I don't begin to understand. Yeah, I'll just be looking at this <laughs> But <side>. the <laughs> photos are really yeah, amazing. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Iron, F-E. Yeah. Uh, yes, there's And where iron. it's located and on the table. And, yeah. And, yeah, very cool. Yes, yeah, amazing. What a great idea. 
And finally, Chuck, the well, Matterhorn. The Matterhorn, which is a novel I've talked about before. This is one of, this had to be one of my, probably the favorite novel that I've read this year. Uh, it's set in Vietnam. This is a pretty gritty novel about what really, you know, what really happened there. Uh, Carl Marlantis spent 30 years writing this book, and it's gotten great reviews, has been a big national bestseller. Um, great recommendation, I think, for that sort of history buff on the list or someone who just wants to read a, a great novel, really, really good writing. Wonderful. Well, thanks so much for these great gift ideas. Check and D from Village Books in Fairhaven. And remember, you can always experience more at kvos.com.